and gentlemen, on behalf of the High Commissioner and all members of the High Commission, I welcome you all. As you know that on 5th of February, we all observe Kashmir Solidarity Day to demonstrate our support for our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for their valiant struggle against Indian oppression and for their legitimate right of self-determination. Today, to begin with this ceremony, first of all, let me thank uh, Sir Right Honor Sir Gerald Kaufman, MP, who, who is presiding today's ceremony. And with him, we have Professor Nazir Shaw. Uh, I thank you, sir, very much uh, for taking time to uh, honor us in this ceremony. Uh, before I call the speakers, I would like to read out to you messages from the President and the Prime Minister of Pakistan. First of all, message from President Asif Ali Zadari. We observe the Kashmir Solidarity Day each year on 5th February to reiterate our political, moral and diplomatic support for the just and legitimate struggle of our Kashmiri brothers and sisters for the realization of their right to self-determination. This right is enshrined in the UN Charter and relevant UN resolutions. Kashmir Solidarity Day is also an occasion to pay tribute to the brave people of Jammu and Kashmir for their heroic sacrifices and for their steadfast resolve to realize their just aspirations. I wish to reassure my Kashmiri brethren that Pakistan remains firmly committed to finding a just and peaceful resolution of the Kashmir dispute in accordance with the aspirations of the people of Jammu and Kashmir and for full respect for their fundamental rights. Pakistan would persist in its efforts for seeking a peaceful resolution of the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. We are of the firm belief that the Kashmiris should be associated with the dialogue process. Ultimately, Kashmiris would be the final arbiters of their destiny. I reiterate our, to our Kashmiri brothers and sisters our pledge that they have our full moral, diplomatic and political support. We shall stand always with them in their just struggle. And now, message from Prime Minister Sayyid Yusuf Raza Gilan. The people of Pakistan observe the Kashmir Solidarity Day on 5th February every year to demonstrate their unequivocal support for the valiant struggle of the people of Jammu and Kashmir to achieve their legitimate right to self-determination in accordance with the UN resolution. It is a reaffirmation of our firm resolve to stand by our Kashmiri brethren in their endeavor to decide their own fate. The Kashmiri struggle spans over more than six decades. Generations of Kashmiris have grown up in Indian occupied Kashmir in the shadow of oppression and violence perpetrated by the Indian occupation forces. They have lost their homes, friends and families, yet they have not lost hope and have remained steadfast in their quest for their inalienable right of self-determination. Today as we observe the Kashmir Solidarity Day, our hearts go out to the families of more than 90,000 Kashmiris who have sacrificed their lives in upholding the ideals of freedom and liberty. 
we pay tribute to the sacrifices made by the Kashmiri people. The sacrifices will not go in vain. Pakistan assures the Kashmiri people of the firm resolve to work steadfastly for the realization of their fundamental rights. It is our hope and expectation that the international community will also play its role in bringing an end to repression, violence and human rights violation of the Kashmiri people. I reassure our Kashmiri brothers and sisters of Pakistan's continued and unflinching moral, diplomatic and political support for their just cause. And now I would request uh, Professor Nazir Shaw to please come to the podium and say a few words. Professor Nazir Shaw. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, Gerald Kaufman, the trusted friend of Kashmiris, His Excellency, Mr. Wajid Shamsul Hassan, the High Commissioner of Pakistan, Dr. Misbah Hassan, President All Parties International Coordination Committee, and their friends. Today is Kashmir Solidarity Day. Today, the people of Pakistan demonstrate their solidarity with the struggling people of Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan has <coughs> remained a trusted friend, advocate of our rights. And we salute the people of Pakistan and the government of Pakistan for the support that they have been extending to us the moral, diplomatic and the political friend. Freedom is a dream which is yet to be realized by the people of Jammu and Kashmir. This dream continues to remain an undying dream with us and we will continue our struggle. We have arts, we have repression, but we know that the determination will ultimately conquer this black night and the people of Kashmiris will get their inalienable and non-negotiable right to self-determination. My dear friends, you know, when I'm speaking today, Kashmir is still in a boil and arrests continue, detentions continue. Three of our leaders, Shabir Ahmad Shah, Naeem Ahmad Khan and Firdaus Ahmad Shah have been arrested yesterday. They had just a busy brief period of relief for a few months. Again, back they are in the jail. On one side, we welcome the resumption of dialogue. But on the other side, we want the international community to help us in bringing an end to human rights violations. These leaders were simply arrested because they raised their, their voice on the death of a 14-year-old student, Vomik Farouk Wani, and they wanted to bring to an end the stepped-up state terror. But their voice has been silenced. Their voice of dissent has not been tolerated. So we request the international community that we are democrats in a sense. We believe in democracy. We believe in peaceful resolution. Help us. For God's sake, help us. You have, sometimes you talk about the democratic structures in India. Why are these structures? At least with the people of Jammu and Kashmir, we are not aware of any democratic structures. Our fundamental freedoms stand curbed for the last 62 years. Our basic rights stand curbed. The draconian laws and the state repression is continuing. 100,000 people have already been consumed by the state terror. So my dear, my dear friends, we are at crossroads, but these uh, difficulties don't deter us. 
We will continue our struggle and we hope that our friends in Pakistan will continue their moral, diplomatic and political support. I have said that we welcome the resumption of dialogue. Yes, dialogue is the way forward. But this dialogue, uh, which is a bilateral dialogue, needs to be made a tripartite dialogue because inclusion of Kashmiris is a must. Without, without Kashmiris in this dialogue, uh, there can never be a permanent and durable uh, peace in South Asia. And one more thing that I would like to say that 